Hi everyone, happy Friday and welcome in to episode 6 of Neat the Saturnine Moon Witch Saturn Saturnine. I got it, it's good. Um our Genesis campaign run by the wonderful, amazing Nicholas. Let's go around and say hi to everyone. Um first I'm gonna say hi, hi, I'm Jess. This is my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Uh please stick around, hang out, and enjoy all the games and stories and stuff. Today I'm uh, Slanya, Slanya no more. Um, the Stitch who recently found out she's a failed vampire? The heck? You know when you find out you could have been like the coolest freaking thing and then you're just like this? <laughs> like, dang it, that's that's where Slanya is right now. But also she's being fed delicious, delicious rabbit juice from two very lovely vampires. So excited to get back into that. Um, let's go around and say hi to who's next. Oh, hi, Mole. Hi, hi, Mole. Um, and I'm playing Christopher Benson, the arcane architect who spent a vast quantity of last session trying to learn how to both be invisible while in plain sight and occupy as little space as possible because of all the creepy stuff that Jess was mainly doing. <laughs> 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 hey. I you freaked him out, all right? <laughs> That's me. Fair, good, valid. Let's go say hi to Mara. Hi, I'm Mara, and I'm playing Odd Shale the Younger, uh, Ferric Oread healer who is enjoying some tea. <laughs> No, no blood in that. Just no. It's it's blood free. I <laughs> odd might be a vegan, <laughs> but I haven't decided yet. I love the thinking face. Might be. <laughs> I, mean... I feel like that would be a really complicated question for odd. As odd, does odd know... even eat? Do you just eat rocks? I did. But eat like some that rocks. would be cannibalism. Is it cannibalism? Odd, it? Right. <laughs> I mean, it it depends on if you're defining it in like human terms or in like Oread terms. That's I guess. why I'm asking because I feel like the definitions might be different, and I'm curious. Don't know. This is getting complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's a I very guess philosophical we... question. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let we'll let Mara reflect on this, and we'll go over and say hi to Adelaide. Hi, Adelaide. Uh, hi. I'm Adelaide. Oh, Adelaide on Twitter and everywhere else. Um, and I play John Quill the little librarian dryad that scares children and probably would drink blood if I was there. I, she, yeah, she would have drank the blood for sure. Especially <laughs> since Devro's on the mind, you know? Hey, got to make a good impression. Yeah. You, you have <laughs> My to, vampire you, girlfriend. <laughs> you, have to, you have to work on your... You have to become a blood connoisseur now so you can impress right. her. MTV, my love interest is a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. That's all I got. That's it. Amazing. Let's go around and say hi to our amazing game master, Nicholas. Yeah. Hello. Uh, I'm Nicholas, and I'll be playing all the NPCs and uh, plot things that I have been informed on. That happened last session by my players. <clears throat> I take this very serious, very serious. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe there's it. no funny business in this game at all. I yeah, see no, it. No, no, no. I it's so totally... serious. I have uh, you know uh, empty notebooks <laughs> about this game. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, last session. Uh, People were uh, talking to gargoyles, uh, writing uh, indecent words on uh, the castle wall, <laughs> uh, and trying to be a little intimidating and interviewing uh, an elder. Uh, and after that, the party split up a little bit. Uh, Adelaide, uh, no, uh, his character, uh, John Quill, went back to the library for a little while to fetch something. 
while the other people went to uh, the Rayforges to a butcher shop uh, called Blood Splatter Butcher. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Talbot and Mag Magdalene are yeah. are our two new favorite. Our, our new power couple, the, the show's new power couple. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, they are, you know, vampires. So, uh, and have a butcher shop. And uh, they offered some blood and tea. Uh, bits or no bits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. your choice. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start outside. As uh, John Quill is trying to catch up. Because they told you where they were going, so you know where. Uh, you walk down the streets of uh, the Grey Forges. I don't think you usually are here because it's, you know, dark, uh, industrial. It's quite far away from, you know, forests. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> you see uh, some Oreads building a sort of, sort of a cathedral on your way. Uh, this is kind of new. You haven't seen this in town before. I just kind of stand and, and observe them from afar. Then none of them look familiar, correct? No. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Strangers. Well, whip out my little notebook. Take note of this. Yeah. Strange but, uh, <laughs> oreads. But on the hand, there are oreads that do not uh, turn to, you know, gang violence and stuff. So that's a little bit in the. Non-violent Oreads <laughs> yeah. building. Suspicious? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and uh, then you pass the streets, uh, and you can really smell uh, uh, in the air uh, how uh, some of the factories are still going on. Uh, I mean, it's hard to know if someone is building things, but probably some where people are probably building it proper, you know, with direction and stuff. Other thing, other factories here are, you know, more automatic and have not just been shut down. And they tend to be a little bit of a problem uh, further uh, towards the uh, sea. Because that's Industrialization. how... You... Yeah, th that's how you get the places like uh, uh, get my own name, uh, the Rust Swamps. Mm. Uh, and you approach the small book butcher shop, and it has, you know, uh, the name written Blood Spatter Butchers in fancy letters outside. Uh, and on the opposite side of the street, there are uh, a vampire and some uh, two stitches. But not... they're out. They're outside. Yeah, they are outside, and they are looking uh, uh, at the butchers. Uh, is it dark are... out now, or is it still daytime? It's uh, a little bit after dusk. Okay. But vampires can be out in the sunlight. That's true. <clears throat> they just hate it. And the stitches, um, these are not the well-kept one. These are one of them, I think I was describing a little bit more like, you know, Frankenstein's monster, you know, bits that stitched together from that do not really belong there. Uh, Uh, but I see no sight of anyone else. Um, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna stroll up. I'm gonna stroll up to the stitches, and 
especially the uh, Frankenstein looking one. Yeah. And uh <laughs> you you look like you look like Slonia. Do you do you know Slonia? You got the same No, 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 no. Slot Sl- You know Sir Sir do, do, do we know Slonia? Uh, no, we do not know Slonia. That vampire. Almost spits. I mean he's very his teeth are quite big, so I mean he has a little bit of a speech impediment. After I wipe this spit off my face, um, <laughs> I I uh, have you seen um, you know one that looks like you? You know the dead stuff um and then a rock person and then like a normal human man just kind of wondering and it's like a very he, odd group like yeah. i promise if you've seen them you've seen them you know he looks at you and uh let me see none of them are normal <laughs> well uh, this sounds like you are trying to uh, uh, charm them. Uh oh! Oh me! <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you say that. Um. <laughs> um. We could say it's charming in in <laughs> John Quill's yeah. own special way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's 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 not uh, coercion because you're not. I'm not them. talking about books. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> make a charm roll. Okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <clears throat> Ooh. Are, are, wow. are you are you with them? No. Nope. The, the people who went into the den of depravity. I I am a very devout young girl. <laughs> yeah. I pull out a fucking say I was here to talk about the good word. <laughs> no, uh, and all of them just look at you and uh, <clears throat> n- n- no, you are not. You have not been touched by. By said no. Uh, the ravenous fangs of death. No. No, no thanks. We do, we do not. Wait, wait, do, do you say thanks, but aren't you just. <laughs> I, I kind of gesture at the vampire that's next to them. Yeah, it was the vampire that said this. Oh. Oh. Self loathing is, is hard to. It's not. Meet, I understand. What? No. Uh, we are talking about people like that. And he points to the butcher shop selling. Uh, non-human blood. Oh, I don't. Filth. I don't do that. And one of the stitches are looking at you, and uh, you know, looking up and down, and then going. Uh, p- p- perhaps he can be a vessel. Uh, n- no, no. I've been trying to tell you this, but we want blood, not sap. Oh no, I don't. I don't bleed like like that. No. You see, the, the, but run along to your friends, and you know, one of them looked tasty. Yeah, uh, but 
Right, be gone. But, you know, I, I heard they're not too tasty anyway, you know, the humans, so they're just not that special. Anyway, um, well, it was nice talking to you, I guess. I <laughs> Come by the library anytime. Uh, and I head into the butcher shop. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. like slowly stepping away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and as you open and you look back, you can see them scowling as you enter the den of depravity. Den of depravity. <laughs> and the, as you open, there is a <laughs> uh, there is a small uh, jingle as a be- the door hits a bell. Hello. Den of depravity. <laughs> 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 and uh, you hear a voice from inside. <sighs> you can just sit, sit here. I, I'll fetch you. Yes, I'm coming. And uh, this tall woman with long, dark hair and a fancy, really fancy dress. Sort of almost, she walks, but it's like she floats in. There are no bouncy steps or anything. It's just very. She comes in from a room past the counter and she looks at you and, yes, can I help you? Well, um, you might want to shoo off those people outside. Um, I'm looking for uh, people that don't look like me. Um, there's a dead one, a rocky looking one, and then a man. <laughs> <laughs> the ones on the other side of the road? Yeah. No, uh, you are looking for your friends? I, I my brain farted. Uh, well, they're not they're, sure. Yes, uh, I I look. Oh, she they point. She pointed across the road. I, I look. How did you open the door? <laughs> um, <laughs> I I look across the back where she was pointing at because I was yeah. across the road and didn't see anything there. So yeah. Uh, no. Uh, uh, come back in, and she le- op- walks back. I think I have found one of your friends. Oh, God, did you eat them? (laughs) No. Uh, We don't eat anyone unless they ask us to. I mean, yes. Oh, this is like a a donation center kind of thing, right? No, they, they are having tea. Uh, people, uh, is this a friend of yours? Can we, like, p- put our heads yeah, around yeah. the corner? Can we, like... <laughs> yeah. all, all three heads are... <laughs> yeah, like, oh, slightly cool. different heights, that yeah. thing, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Oh, good, you're alive. Okay, they were talking about dinner depravity, and, you know, you never know. Oh. Good. You never know. Wouldn't surprise uh, yeah. me, this is a great <clears throat> place. Jonquil, can I recommend, can I recommend to you the smooth rabbit? Have tea. Is that a sandwich? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Better. <laughs> right, Christopher? <laughs> oh, did he have some too? Did you have some? Oh my god. <laughs> And I, I kind of like whisper, like said, I, I know they're still sitting like right there behind me. I could be like, are they, are they vampires? Yeah. I thought they were oh, yeah, coming no. inside. Definitely. <laughs> but they're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, nice. And in there, yeah. Please c- come in. I mean, we should not be standing out here. It is bad form to, uh, 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 have lengthy discussions over uh, uh, the business counter. <laughs> oh right, okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I'll I'll come sit. It's yeah, come sit down. Uh, They're scary. really cool. Uh, They're very smooth, like the rabbit. And 
they've been, you know, helping us so far. But uh, you came in at a good time because we uh, we just started chatting, just started asking questions. If you got any, do you know Devro? That's a good one. <laughs> like Dev? very pretty, <laughs> but they only stay inside. They like romance novels. They worked for some old dead guy. Devro. I I'm pretty sure he's dead. Pretty no, and like you don't know, know each other. Uh, and then the uh, slightly uh, <clears throat> shorter man, a little bit chubbier, uh, sits there. Devero. Oh yes, I I know him. Her, them. Is it anyone? No. It. It's the. F there is a clan of Deveros. Oh, they might go by their last name. Well, that yeah, would be confusing. Uh, well, it's yeah, a nice uh, last name. It's, it's nice. It is. It's a very good name, but I, I kind of thought it was their first name. And if there's, like, every vampire here we meet from now on is going to be the Dever a Devereaux, that's going to get really... Yeah, uh, no, uh, the, the vampire, uh, they are... Uh, uh, I think... That was a while ago. Are they still alive? Uh, we haven't seen them. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it must have been, you know, a little bit over a hundred years since we saw them. Busy reading their romance novels. Yeah, yeah they're, they're writing one right now. Uh, I think. I think it's in my character. They were uh, assistants, I think, to the, you know, I think they call it a novella. <laughs> was. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, was. I mean, but, I mean, uh, undead is a tricky thing, and, you know, it's always death. So we try not to judge people. So for us, everyone is sort of, you know, still alive. It's much easier that way. That's fair. That's fair. Um, did you did you cover the whole uh, people we're looking for? You know, the twins, siblings. Oh yeah, no. Um, a bit, yeah. Apparently, there there's like a head that may be a magic focus and uh, yeah, auger. Edric's head. Kind of nasty. So. Yeah, huh. I, I was gonna say. I remember they told us that Eldritch was stinky and gross, and they, uh, you know, when they killed him, they were hoping to get to use the body, but the people weren't into that. They like burnt the body, and they were like, "Dang, what a waste!" And uh, Augur <laughs> was a dabbler in the mysterious arts, but they were mean, so that's not cool. And then. There was Auger someone named supplies. Lech we want to go see, right? Hogger buy supplies from him. Ah. Well, I I yeah. do I do know a little bit about head magic. Do you magic know? you do in a hedge a, a little or bit. to a hedge or? Well, I mean, there's like different I... things. You know, you could like you could like you could like. Carve out a hole in the top and in stick a hedge, candle down into it. Like crouch I... underneath the hedge while you're doing the magic. I'm confused by the end. Well, then that, and then you could put like on the stakes, like John Quill, are you, are you, John Quill, are you talking about jack o' lanterns right now? No, like actual, you know, people do weird things with the heads. I don't know. It's. I thought we were talking about hedge. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> hedge, like, like a like a fence, I've... like a. <clears throat> I've lost. I've lost the train. Here. I have to say, hedge magic does sound the most dryad of magic. <clears throat> yeah, uh, and uh, Magdalene sits uh, sits down and uh, looks at uh, Ord. And, uh, well, uh, it's not in fashion nowadays, but in the olden past, uh, it was quite fashionable to have a hedge. Made by uh, you know decapitated heads. A head hedge. Yes. Uh, oh. 
it, it, it uh, a hedge, if you will. <laughs> it got deemed a little bit uh, too uh, unsettling for some people, but it'd be kind of unsanitary. Easy. I kind of like it. it. But it keeps people away. Right. Right. How that would be effective. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, uh, the, darling, the, the ruffians are out at it again, outside. Oh yeah, they said you were like a dinner depravity or something. So yeah, yeah. oh, you talk to them. Uh, <sighs> I, I, I'll I'll deal with them. And the uh, man uh, Talbot uh, sits up and he huffs a little bit, and then he goes out. And then you can hear the jingle as the door opens, and he you hear a shout going, "Fuck off!" <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right then. Clearly, mm. that is the message that works. See, see, odd. That's that's why the ghost mm. asked. That's what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. The ghost knew what was up. Yeah, and then he comes back, uh, opens a small drawer, and takes up a small blood bag. Then he, this will do the trick. And he walks out, and then you hear a shh. The dingling of the bell again. Uh, I'm leaning out to see what he's going to do. Yeah, yeah, I want to know what's happening. This yeah, is really it's like interesting. four heads pop around the corner yeah. this time yeah. instead of just sitting. Yeah, yeah and he, he walks out, and then you hear him shouting, I told you to fuck off! And then he takes the blood bag, and you go, splatters all over oh. the vampire. Uh, oh. And the vampire just goes, Ugh, I'm clean, I'm clean, and then runs away. Uh, then Talbot walks back to you and then sees just standing, rat's blood. Uh... Uh... <clears throat> I guess they're 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 picky eaters, huh? Yeah, they are. Uh, they are, you know. Only human blood for us. Mm. Yeah. I think that, and I think they also, you know, really like it, you know, uh, uh, non consensual. Ah! I mean, oh. that's really not cool, dudes, you know? I mean, it is the 1100s. I mean, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> you think in this, in this day and age. <laughs> You know, but that's... Uh. Yeah. Uh. Christopher sort of, like, turns up his collar and, like, pulls it right <laughs> back <laughs> his leg. <laughs> um. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. They're not, they're not... These ones are different. Okay. Good. I'm yeah, really if, if you are hanging out... through your brains, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we here tries to be more civilized then. No, riffraff. Yeah, there are the some people. Lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some people who buy all too much into the whole, you know, vampire myth. Monster. I mean, mm. yeah, I mean, sure, we are monsters, but everyone is a monster. So, I mean. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm. And thank uh, you so much for answering our questions. Yeah. Uh, you're you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, and if you need any, you know, any blood, any meat, any, I mean, we, we have meat. I mean, that's what we usually do here. Oh, uh, what's like the highest, like nicest stuff you have, you know? Just curious, you know, just. Oh, the nicest stuff. Are we talking about the blood or are we talking about the mm -hmm. meat or mm -hmm. uh, okay like uh, a like a nice prime go under like nice narrator nice heading level up. one narrator one running window oh, wow. exiting narrator yes uh, we do have mm -hmm. uh, a very fine aged uh well, well hold, hold on just a second all right <laughs> Will you take an IOU? <laughs> well, uh... oh, you can just come by the library and pick it up. We don't have much money, but you know, we got. Oh, 
I might have some saved up. We can pool. God is into this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this play out. <laughs> I might. It depends on how much it is, but you know, I've got some change saved up. Well, yeah, uh, we have some uh, uh, very fine aged uh, moose blood. I have never seen a moose. I don't know what a moose is. It's like a horse with horns, and it's not oh. the unicorn. Wait, are you trying? Like you a telling- deer? There is also a. Uh, and, uh, and they look at you and, well, um, uh, this is not quite legal. Oh. Well. But we have a few bottles of, uh, say, uh, deer. On the Bay Woods. Uh, it's. Uh, Does it have any like weird properties? Like if you drink uh, it, can you suddenly like dash about real fast or do anything real cool? Suddenly you're mm-hmm. really startled by headlights or like something like that? <laughs> well, um, are you trying to get uh, high? <laughs> that Listen, depends Christopher, on bi- don't come in here and start judging other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, that was Mr. Human, all sensitive about your <laughs> neck and Normie. stuff. God. Talk about judgment. You're the one judging, assuming that me asking a simple question was a judgment. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, hey. if the shoe fits. I was asking not... if you were trying to get high. That's there right. was, was no judgment in I those was words. Asking about the properties of an unusual fey creature's mm-hmm. blood. Well, it, it tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as for the other effects, uh, you can mix things into it if you want to, but I mean, this is more like, you know, for a, I mean, if you have a, want to have, you know, a really, really fancy uh, dinner or something, mm. it's not, you know, uh, it's not a why uh, a blood for uh, uh, getting sloshed out of your heads and run around naked in the streets. I mean, sure, sure, sure. It's more like, I mean, there are other, there are bloods for that as well. But I mean, it's it's not it has the magical property of getting you a date. Well, I mean, it, with this one, it, yeah. I mean, it's rare, so I mean. If you present it to someone, their chances of getting a date will probably, you know, go up a bit. I will also assist in the purchase of this <laughs> blood if that's something you want, John Quill. <laughs> I mean, it would just, you know, it would just be, it would, it would be a really nice thing for friends to do. How much is You know, it? to help yeah. to help out a lady yeah. in need. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> um, I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm thinking this is a negotiation role. Um I can uh, assist. I'm very charming. Let me, let me if, see how good I I think I might be I've got three I, actually. I've got it's not bad. I don't think that's bad. Yeah, and, and you will get a two. one uh, blue uh, boost die because your friends are helping, and I have oh, okay. difficult. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm charming as heck, but I didn't. So charming. Go, John Quill. Okay. 
You got this. We believe in you. Oh! Hey. Yes! Oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, 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 you can have a small bottle, I suppose. Okay, we're talking okay. N no, darling. The... She should have the big bottle. I mean, look at her. I mean, it's... <clears throat> this is for love. I'm just saying and I just feel love, the you know? two of you yeah. seem like people that would appreciate. I mean, you know, eventually I... they're both gonna die. Probably one will yeah, be uh, the other. Well, bad, but you know. They're a vampire, and on. I am a dryad, so it'll be a very long, long, long time from now. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, mm -hmm. you know, you mm -hmm. gotta enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. I approve of this. And I can come in and, you know, clean up your shop sometimes. Uh, and I'm assuming this is with the uh, the Devereaux. Yes. Uh, You're well, very perceptive. We, we don't require you to come in and clean up. I mean, we we have staff for that. Uh, um, but uh, if the date is successful, I mean, please just bring them along here. Oh, I'm sure they would. They would love to take a, a nice stroll to the den of depravity. <laughs> Maybe don't call it that. Hey, yeah, yeah. I think it's Who a better knows? name, actually, than say... the blood splatter butcher. For for some people, I just feel like den of depravity is just tempting. Oof. Good name. It's tempting. I don't. I don't. Uh, it is. Uh, it, it it would have been a great name for I don't know. Uh, what do you think, darling? Well, it does sound a little bit like you know. Uh, an, uh, you could sell hookah. I was gonna say it sounds a little bit more like you know one of those cheap uh, opium dens, and. Uh, while that is fine for some people, it's not fine mm. for us. That's fair. That's fair. Fancy, fancy wine it is. That's blood wine. <clears throat> blood. It's just blood. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, it's like a sangria. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, just my and, type of sangria. <laughs> delicious. And, ve and very graceful, uh, Magdalene just presents you with this sort of big bottle of blood uh, in a wine bottle this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me i just want, <laughs> what I just want to say once you've already cracked it open if you want to like share a swig at some point that's cool. it's uh, a present that's why i said after i said after <laughs> i said after you cracked it okay if she okay i'll i'll, I'll see i'll see if there's any left over yeah yeah uh, it also will uh, when you have uh, had a few glasses, and if you want to, you know, uh, you don't drink all of it, it does make a good pudding when it uh, coagulates. Right, blood does that. That's cool. That's a really cool feature, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. At, at this point, Chris, Christopher is noticeably several shades paler than when he came into the building. <laughs> Christopher, you don't look great. I'm fine. Uh, you turn greenish in my <laughs> years of medical experience. Do... I'll be okay. Would you like a sip of wine? Mm -hmm. Kind of slide it mm -hmm. around. Here, no, just sniff this. I hand over. I have herbs, herbs of healing. They, they... <laughs> I was thinking like herbs de Provence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might just be that. <laughs> Listen, just like start with basil from like my garden. <laughs> yeah, uh, Christopher. Yes. Uh, I want you to make a discipline check. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
oh yay discipline <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm good at that <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh i got one, success one success one threat <laughs> not bad. That's, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. you know yeah. uh the thrift is i'm thinking uh probably gonna do this yeah, you probably want to leave the butcher shop. <laughs> I'm fine. Christopher, I just, I don't understand why you're so upset. These people have made it abundantly yeah. evident that they are very reasonable towards humans, more I'll, so than, you know, some of the other folks around here. And I'll go outside with Christopher. <laughs> Come on, Jeez. Christopher. I like turned yeah, to John Quill. I'm just like some people so unappreciative. Jeez. I told him. I told you. It's just it's humans, man. They're just yeah, <laughs> yeah. disappointing. Yeah. yeah, I'm ushering Christopher I didn't out. Say anything? <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Some people get freaked out by the sight of blood. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> As I'm being ushered out, I shall turn to the vampires and go. One day, would it be cool if I came back and checked your rooms out for your fridge? Yes, that would be lovely. Thank you. I'm looking into doing similar things in other buildings. Oh. Thank you. <clears throat> now, come on. Go get you some air. As soon as I get outside the uh, the uh, butcher shop and I'm out of sight of the vampires, I just go. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> yeah, no, the breathing thing. You you all generally need to do that. You should do that more often. You can breathe through your mouth, and then you don't get like the smell. <laughs> That's helpful. Physiology. The reaction. No mm -hmm. judgment. Yeah, no, I'm not judging you. It's a very, it, it happens all the time. I don't quite understand it, but you know, you do you, man. And they'll, you'll get some more blood. Hmm. But fresh air, though. Good enough. I just stare out at the horizon, giving Christopher some privacy to do what he needs to do. Has that group of uh, thugs disappeared then? Yes, they have. Okay. A and the horizon uh, from here is down the street uh, yeah. towards the red shade. And there's this red cloud that just hangs over it, like a yeah. mist of uh, very bad air. Yep. So Nicholas, can I double check? Did we did we ask Morticia and Gomez about the twins? Yes. We, we did? did? And Yeah. And they didn't they just said they didn't know them very well cuz I don't have any notes. Remember know correctly them. that remember correctly, that's what led to them telling us about Olga. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they ran with some gangs here and then they uh... Uh, that's what you that you got that from uh, uh, the elder, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and here. Uh, no, I don't think we got that much about. Yeah, because I the, quite early. Yeah, yeah, I literally that's have it. that we got here. Blood splatter butcher yep. found out I'm a failed bi a vampire exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point. Uh, yeah. Tell the and Magdalene are awesome exclamation point. Uh, uh, Eldrick was stinky and gross. Augur was a dabbler in mystical arts and was mean. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't Lech, ask about that. Yeah, Lech has a yeah. store, Lech's Oddities, in the old district. We have that. So we, yeah. we haven't asked about the twins yet. I want to bring that yeah. up. Yeah, mm. yeah. So you bring that up quite fast, and they look, and you can see uh, for a brief moment, uh, everyone roll a perception check. I'm going to set this difficulty. It's okay. Were us two outside or just inside? The people who are talking to the Magdalene and Talbot. Cool. Oh, okay. Damn it, I'm not good at this. I hope nope. you are. Uh, I have set the difficulty, so you can roll. 
it's amazing how many things our group are not good at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, damn it! I was hoping, I was hoping it like I was hoping I could ask if I could just be cool, but that's not an option. I'm like reading through. I love this is one of the things I love about Genesis. And literally for each of the skills is like here's a bunch of things you can apply it through to. Here are examples of things you can't. Yep. Um, yeah, I love yeah, that. And this, this is perception i think uh, okay. possibly vigilance might... well oh i got an advantage that's and no negatives bad. no no yes. threats no fails yeah huh 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 yeah Ellie? Uh, uh, oh i got it wrong never mind oh <laughs> uh, no i clicked it again Oh jeez! Oh, oh, wow. oh Jesus! Oh. How? <laughs> oh. I'm just I'm just gazing at this bottle of blood. It's fine. Oh my Everything's good. Gosh! Oh yeah. my god. For people Horrific. watching, that is Impressive. two failures and five threats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna interpret that it's you don't really pay that much attention you are just more you know looking at the bottle mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, because the threats does not uh, really apply that much here mm-hmm. to a, yeah to a perception yeah uh, i can just see uh, you're paying that much attention to the bottle that you go oh my god <laughs> I would bet that you accidentally poked yourself in the eye, not that it spurted, you know, yeah, open. The advantage is that, uh, uh, Slania, you feel the room suddenly just get a little bit colder just by oh. mentioning these people. Oh. And they are, yeah, no, uh, well, uh, <sighs> they are complicated people. Uh, Gwendolyn is, you know, quite lovely when she's on her own. Uh, Wena, though, I mean, Wena is uh, no, no, uh, darling. Uh, you know, uh, if we can't say anything good, we should be, you know, <laughs> a little bit quiet. They did tell us that there was a rivalry between the two of them, didn't they? That was no, I think we got that from <laughs> that was from the guy. That, that was from oh, that, yeah, that was from Elder yeah. Corey. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Because yeah. he was the one that remembered them when they were kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and when they were in gangs together and they had a sibling rivalry. But that they are very good at putting up a front, like a face, like a public face. Yeah. Um Yeah. Uh, uh, Gwendolyn is, uh, she's, uh, I have the feeling that she is the one that is more, you know, she's a little bit at, ill at ease up there. Uh, perhaps uh, their uh, scheming has, you know, taken them a little bit further than what she had wanted. Now they are there, so she tries to do the best of it. Uh, Owena, she has... She has had a terrible uh, affliction. Most terrible. Uh, Ambition. Oh. Oh, no. Ambition. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, and that's definitely bad for vampires. Well, it's it's bad for everyone who isn't a wiener. Ah. Uh, she has. Uh, she doesn't care that much. And I have uh, suspicions. Uh, no, no proof, no proof. Uh, so perhaps I shouldn't gossip. Uh, no, I shouldn't, no. Forget I said something. 
Uh, well, we're, 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 we're not. <laughs> I'm gonna like, we're, we're, we're not thinking of you as gossips and we're, we're not, uh, we really appreciate all your hospitality so far. You've been so kind and generous in helping us, you know, learn things that we didn't know. You've uh, opened our eyes to a whole new culture of things. Um, you've helped my friend here, um, hopefully impress someone that she uh, <laughs> enjoys the company of. So this means a lot. And we just, we're, we're not looking to make you feel like you're gossiping, but we just need to know some of their intentions because they've been doing some questionable things and we just need to see if we could stop them from doing anything bad to the town. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> I want you to make a charm roll. Yes! <laughs> oh, God. But, but I also no! will remind, re remind you uh, that we have uh, story points that you can spend to upgrade. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, that's true, I that's true! Got, I think it's two. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Do it. I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we have two points. Yeah. This seems this seems important to Yeah, this does seem really important. Me. So I will I'll use the story point if it's cool with everyone. Yeah. Um yeah. And and then I had to double check my talents and once again my only social and in, in talents <laughs> are to like Tell people the fuck sass off. Yeah, or to sass people. <laughs> so I don't think it'll help in this endeavor. So I'm not gonna Yeah, but click the button. Okay. Skills. For uh, the story point. Okay, story point. Where is it? It's at the top, right? Yeah, use story point. Okay. Yep. Got that. And now I'm going to. And do... I have set the difficulty. Okay. Going to do some charming. Holy bananas. Ooh. Yes. That is wow. five, five wow. successes, but three threats. Yes. That's. <clears throat> Oh boy. That's impressive. Well, uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, since you are, uh, and no one is listening, uh, I, I guess it's okay since you are friendly people and uh, Weena is most certainly not. Uh, uh, there uh, has been some I, uh, I actually believe that she is part of the same uh, religious cult as the one fellow from the other side of the street. You know, the one that, you know, wants to drink pure human blood and all of that. Ah. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, as for how she has gotten for Gwendolyn along with her schemes, I have no idea, but I know that uh, Gwendolyn is not uh, being... Uh, she, she misses a little bit about, you know, the human condition. Uh... And, uh, well, uh, Weena, she, uh, most certainly do not miss being a vampire, but... A human? Yeah, she doesn't, yeah, being human. She, uh, however, uh... <sighs> Sorry. She has been talking when we were, uh, when she was new. Uh... She felt that there must be some sort of a... It's far too easy to become a vampire. You know, a ritual and, you know, some magic and... Uh, some sort of a, you know, draining of the blood and all of that. I mean... Uh, she wanted it to be more of an exclusive club? Not so much that, that more as like there must be a sort of, sort of a... Possible evolution. 
Vampire Plus. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, and uh, well, uh, and then they went away, thankfully, and now they are back and. Uh, well, they have amassed more power politically, but uh, if you want some answers, I would uh, consider, you know, talking to uh, uh, Gwendolyn alone. Mm -hmm. uh, because of a win I stared there, I mean, they will be more like one person. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, well, uh, sh should should you uh, should we tell them them about uh, possibly? I mean, I'm like <clears throat> I'm like looking at them and not saying anything, but I'm like very slightly <laughs> nodding to like yeah. whatever they're like. Should we? And I'm just like, mm, and I'm like leaning in. I'm I'm going to turn to Odd and say uh, uh, something we might want to ask. I don't know if you want to go back in, but I know they're identical twins. Just how identical are they? Is there a way just by looking that we can tell which one's which? Um. <laughs> Sure. Are you gonna be okay out here? Uh, I'll be fine. I will tell you that uh the last month or so uh the Duchess has been uh, behaving a little bit more odd. You mean odd? Well, no, 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 not odd. I mean, odd is your friend. That's you know, that's your friend. No, <laughs> as you as they walk back Hello. in, that, I think that's the point that they walk back yeah. in. I feel like that's that's appropriate. Yeah. Well, uh, she has. When she came here, she asked questions and just got information about how to. This place was ruled before, and uh, when you say she, do you mean the Duchess? Yes, the Duchess, the Duchess was here. You ha you had her over for blood tea. Well, uh, <laughs> the Duchess doesn't drink blood. Ah, okay. Well, so let's but cross. Yeah, uh, let me just cross that out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, she she was more uh, interested in you know trying to maintain as uh, a smooth transition of the government as possible. Uh -huh. But uh, the last month, she has been more uh, distant, like letting other people on things. It's it's very odd. We still haven't seen the Duchess, right? We When we saw someone no. in the courtyard, we thought it we, was the Duchess, yeah. but it turned out to not it wasn't be her, right? Yeah. We haven't yeah, seen think, her, seen I her. Think, I think I've seen her across a room in backstory because my parents are quite affluent. Yeah. But that's it, you know, I haven't, met her mm -hmm. and in in story world was that a long time ago or was that recently uh well my character i'm guessing it was probably at least a couple of years because um now he's focused all in his work spends all his time in his workshop he wouldn't go into the yeah. eyes so uh yeah they are uh, feeling well uh, yeah I, i'm if I were to uh, guess, I would blame it all on Owena. I mean, even what? if it isn't her fault, she fucking deserves it. Mm. People like that give us vampires bad name. You are muted, yes. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just imagine I said something real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I said, I said, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, and, and you folks already have enough trouble as it is. <clears throat> Christopher wanted me to ask if 
there was a way because they're twins and yeah is there a way to tell them apart we can you know uh, which one's Gwendolyn which one's Alina yeah uh, well uh, <clears throat> uh, I have been told that uh, Obina has a birthmark uh, on her back, but that's not going to help you, I suppose. Yes. No. But uh, let me see if I can remember something. And he sits down and thinks a little bit and. Oh, I have it. Uh, their eyes. Uh, uh, I mean, their eyes are, you know, fashionably red. Uh, but uh, uh, Gwendolyn has more like, it's a little bit like a orange uh, burst from the center a little bit. Hmm. It's subtle, but you can So if we meet them, we have to walk right up to them and stare deeply into their eyes. Their eyes. Yes, uh, unfortunately. <clears throat> or, uh, or just say, hey, Gwendolyn, hi, <laughs> hello, do you want to talk to us? Well, what if she says no? Mm, true. We'll need to have a plan, but... I have an idea. <coughs> Let's see. Got some leads. So... We could do the circus thing that you all were doing. Oh, a distraction. Oh, no, I meant, like, be good at it. <laughs> yeah. And if Gwendolyn's really into circus, I don't know. This might, I am. The music wasn't so great last time. No. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty Heard better. <laughs> I don't know what kind of music Gwendolyn likes. <laughs> so, uh, she likes uh, more of the chamber stuff, you know. How do you even know? And... Do you know? Do you know her well? <sighs> Well, uh, we don't know them now, but we know them before. Uh, 50 years or so ago, they were... <clears throat> pretty short time. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like, you know, a few months ago, give or take. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Seems reasonable. Do you know of any any idea of who's going around trying to make more vampires? Like, That's a uh, good question. Uh, Are you looking at me when you say this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I does. Uh, well, oh. well uh... <sighs> yeah, and do you know why they're Fucking up so bad. Yeah, I thought it was easy. Didn't didn't you say it was easy to make a vampire? Yeah, and since they are fucking it up, I mean they are probably not vampires themselves. Hmm. Ooh. Or or perhaps new. Uh, they have magical abilities. They are not that good. Uh, Augur. Hmm. Possible. Uh... <clears throat> hmm. 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 Cool. Cool. 
I mean, I, I, if that if that's just a personal matter, like odd, I appreciate it. But like, I got time to figure that out later. I'm in no, no hurry. But I I just figured since we were here, I should. You know, yeah, no, it's a, it's a good question, you. and uh, yeah, I appreciate it. It, it. it um, can also be, you know, uh, a street kid that has a book they shouldn't have. I mean, dang, some some dumb kid, some dumb kid went and. I uh, yeah. Yeah, that really I'm sucks. Afraid. If I find that kid, I'm going to beat him up so uh, bad. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, ex uh, excuse my language. Uh, you know what? I apologize. Uh, it's not, that's Mag not Magdalene, here nor there. Meeting Magdalene up put, children. <laughs> Magdalene puts uh, her hand on your shoulder and says, we do not wish that kind of parenthood on you. Parent, uh, yeah. Parenthood mm, that's right, because that's yeah. what they think of. That's right, that's right. Yeah, no, it's cool. You know, it's fine. Like, you I know, mean, I'll, I'll figure it out, and whatever the answer is, you know, that's cool. But um, yeah, we we hope it's at least someone that just you know, uh, the one that made you uh, just had a bad day and were at least you know competent, uh, but at the same time they did a bad job. So I mean, you should. Really beat them wow, they, Solania looks great. Why would you no, say that? It's, it's cool. It's fine. Like, nah, John Cool. It's it's cool. Like, they're they're not insulting me personally. Just that you know, if you were trying to make like a parfait, like you know, if you're trying to make like some like big fancy thing, then accidentally you made. Something oh, yeah, else. how your like arm keeps falling off. Yeah, sometimes. you know, it's just they they could have done better, and that's fine. And I don't take that personally at all. That's fine. But and uh, you got like a big, a long like scar thing, like right there. Yeah, I've got and I mean, right like, like 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 Slania literally has in some places and like right there. bandages holding her face together, and she's just like, yeah, <laughs> like there's definitely a few. Possible improvements, <laughs> like, but it's fine. We'll figure that out later, and I'll give him a good, the old, I'll box him right in the kisser, and that's fine. But uh, um, that was a good question, like odd, because um, speaking of people just doing magics, and if y'all know about it, have you noticed uh, all the weird lightning? Uh, no, we keep indoors most of the time yeah uh, there's no there's no lightning involved in vampire making right no 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 uh, lightning tends to you know uh, burn away quite a lot of you know flesh mm. and blood and brain so, capacity so counterintuitive yes what what about yeah. vampire plus well, um, if you had Eldrick's tome, uh -huh. that might give you some ideas. Uh, I am quite sure he has a good knowledge about it before he died, uh, him being a proper necromancer and stuff. Is the tome uh, the thing we have the half pages of? Yeah. What we have mm -hmm. the vast majority of the tome, and then yeah. a section we have half of. So a section was ripped out, and then we have half of that section that was ripped out. Yeah. So we have like ninety five percent of the book. That yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's got a few pages. John Quill, do you have it? Because you were just back at the library. The pa the actual pages are inside mm -hmm. boring books, so they can. Yeah, you hit them inside like a yeah. boring book. Oh but yeah, I've got my I notes, know, but I... I've got the I've got the original book. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, so, uh, and I would I also assume. And he looks up to his wife, and his wife looks down at him. Would you think, perhaps, I mean, it's it's weird, and he had knowledge. Yeah, and it's, but it's, 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 is it proper? Should, should we, I mean. <sighs> I lean over yes, to Jodquil, and I'm like. Do any of your moms finish finish each other's sentences like this? Because it's like real cute. Uh well, they're not like in a relationship with each other. They're just, uh, they're just like um, a parenting they're... team. 
Yes. And and a librarian team. Yes. They don't get along very often. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, you know. So not finishing well, each other's sentences. Got it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Eldrick's tome is, you know, a refinement of his old masters, and it's on their old masters. So it it's, has been something that's been refined over a couple of... Uh, 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 necromancer generations, or whatever yeah. it's called. I'm not. Uh, it would not be totally implausible that it might have uh, uh, something that might, you know, fix what went wrong. They look at Slandia. Oh, so I could like go back to sleep permanently, or well, uh, when you say fix, there's a I I can imagine a well, few well, different uh, scenarios. To, like you know, mend the outcome of the oh, to, com to complete it. Yeah, so it's more like. L less, you know, falling to bits and more oh. like, you know, and uh, and uh, Talbot goes and then uh, <laughs> Magda, uh, Magdalene goes don't do that. I mean Did, did he like transform slightly when yeah, he did it? Did he do like yeah, that? Like that? Yeah. 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 It's adorable. It, oh, yeah. It, 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 it's tacky when you do the hissing noise. I mean, it's. I I enjoyed it personally. I appreciated it. I'm I'm sorry, to, but yeah, it, it, it's. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I am. I'm. I'm into that. So you think that might be in the the former master's book or in 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 this? It's the same. It's the, the same, same book. I mean it. It's the same tome. It's just been, you know, added refined. on and refined. And mm. uh, I would not be surprised if there are some pages in there that are at least, you know, 500 years old or so. Would you guess that the older edition would be in the library? No, I think <laughs> it would be the same book. Remember, our character, I'd already read through it and, and uh, theorized we could use the ritual to bring you back to life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. This is but now just the, this sounds better, though. I could be a yeah, vampire. It's basically, <laughs> the way I'm thinking it is, it's basically it's taking the same magics, but going in a slightly different direction. Uh, well, Obviously, you know, uh, Christopher is going to think, well, we use these magics and we can bring you back to life. Whereas somebody else could go, oh, we could do this and actually make you a vampire. I mean... I we I could always ask I could always ask Devro maybe you, for you, a favor. You, you do have to visit them at some point. <laughs> Sorry. Just saying, you know, it's an option. It's an option. Okay. Does Devro know magic? Uh, I think they said a little bit. Very little. Very yeah, not not much, but a little bit. But they're a vampire, so you never know. Uh -huh. They can just and, bite and, you again. And having known, uh, having met Devereaux, you would probably guess that the magic they know is, you know, to make... Uh, uh, Romance novels. No, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say scented floating lights. <laughs> wow. So floating <laughs> candles. Yeah. But scented ones. <laughs> scented candles. Yeah. So, so her magic book was bought in Lush. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, it was. So, okay, yeah. so maybe not Devereaux, but you never know. Maybe <laughs> they might know somebody. You never know. You know. Yeah, so if you find the tone, then you might have some ideas. I mean, the, the, it, it has lots of weird things that you should probably not dabble in, but... Well, it's you don't need to okay. worry about that anyway. You know, we, we can handle ourselves just fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, <sighs> I'm a very experienced magician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that we're especially good at at uh you know the spooky stuff which is totally what we're looking mm. for so perfect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah very good just gonna whip it up <laughs> um god <laughs> So, well, uh, one last thing. Be, just... be, be, being social this long yeah. has been great, uh -huh. but it has gotten me into the mood of dancing. Oh, yes, darling. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love them. They're so I love I love them. Uh, okay, I guess we'll... So, so uh, is there anything else we can help with? No, I think that's... No, it. you've been very helpful and generous. Oh, yeah, nice. even like Christopher hasn't been pretty kidnapped or adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> FYI, Nicholas, yeah, if the first time I see any sort of people start to approach my direction, I cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, um, outside. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, how vigilant uh, do you want to be? Are you keeping a lookout or are you trying I'm to... paranoid as hell right now? So, yeah, I'm looking out. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to say uh, I'm going to reset the difficulty and make a, make a vigilance roll. I should have made it you know, a passive thing because I, I would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it might it might be the cool one. I'm gonna have to look it up. It says so on the. Oh no, my vigilance is better. That's cool. No, no, don't roll yet. Uh, I need to look it up. Which one it is? Uh, cool is prepared. Vigilance is unexpected. So yeah, it's vigilance. Well, it's a failure with an advantage. Yes. Uh, which means uh, here uh, you are uh, basically uh, startled by uh, Uh, let me see. Uh, a few uh, factory forms that just comes running down the street. You say I get startled, right? Yes, you get startled, and they are really up close. I should notice that. You know the Wilhelm shriek that you, that's in like yeah. almost every movie ever. That. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and they jump to the side first, and then they look at you, and then they. Let's see what he got. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what he got, and then he just runs up towards you. And. Uh... Well, uh, I will. What should I use for this? Uh, You're getting fondled. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's true. That is such a great pun. I'm going to yeah. I'm going to use my angry emote on myself now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna say. Uh, Which could make uh, another vigilance. I'm thinking uh, to see if, uh, or possibly, no, uh, yeah, vigilance. Two successes, but three threat. Yeah. Uh, they uh, come from all directions, basically, and you know, start to you know, put their hands down your what the robe, uh, the coat pockets, and start to pull up what you have in there. 
uh, and you know they pull out the book the book is in my satchel which is clasped shut yeah and okay so let me see how they they see the satchel i'm saying as soon as they start grabbing at me i'm going to cast a spell yeah uh, let me see uh which yeah, spell do you want to cast i'm basically casting a spell which will basically allow <laughs> me to jump like on top of the roof of the bit that's next to me. Okay. And it will go with the whole shriek. Yeah. M make the roll. Uh, what? Building, uh, jumping, magic. It's probably uh, going to be. Uh, My guess was. Augment. Uh, augment, yes. Just which augment? Augment and range, probably. So, yeah. Range. Yeah. Well, that's increasing. Yeah, the default is that's increasing the range of how. Yeah, but, but but the buildings here are quite tall. So, if you want to okay. jump up on it, will be. So, okay, yeah. So, uh, augment that is primal and divine. Primal and divine. I will be using primal. Uh, part of me is tempted what? to spend my free story point because it just kind of fits in with okay. the whole shriek. I have, I haven't decided yet. Yeah, do that uh, because I'm going to use a story point. Okay, yeah, I'll use my free one. Can you apply that? Because I don't yeah. think it's a. I have applied them. Uh... Oh. This is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Probably. Oh. A success with two advantages. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to spend another story point. Uh, hang on. The What's the green one from? Uh, the upgrade. Oh, it gives me an additional green from the story point. Yeah, if, if, it, if it, you, only, you have... Uh, Full yellow, then it adds a green one. Okay, cool. That's why then. Yeah. Uh, so you shriek and jump up, and you. It's a little bit heavier than usual because you notice that there is a fawn hanging onto your satchel as you leap up. And they are, you know, clanging. But... Help. And they look at you, and they are, you know. Okay, so I'm. I, am I? Am I firmly on yeah, the roof? Yeah, you're firmly on the roof. Okay, and they I are go hanging the satchel, on, and I deliberately ding, I deli dangling on the uh, on the edge, and it's holding you down a little bit, but you're you're firmly up. I wrap one arm, the arm <laughs> on the side of the satchel, round the satchel, so I'm sitting it, and then bring the other hand down for them to grab. Yeah, uh, and I will say this: they are looking at you very doe-eyed. Aww. Because they are four. <laughs> Precious. Uh, yeah, and you. So I do, and I bring the other hand out so that they can grab it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That was amazing. And they lean over to the edge, and uh, guys. You should try this. It's fun. <laughs> Only when Christopher thinks he's getting mugged can he possibly make friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now that I've got the satchel here, I, from now on, the satchel is like this. Because I know it will, all my important stuff is in there. Yeah. <laughs> we were just having fun, but... Uh, you, you made it even more fun, so... You're welcome. Yeah, uh, we have our lunch break now. Oh. Cool. You're not from around here, are you? No. I feel a little bit out of place, to be honest with you. That is because you're on the roof. <laughs> Before I was on the roof, I felt out of place. Yeah, I feel uh, slightly more comfortable up here. Yeah, uh, and the phone extends their hand. They are, you know, 
a little short. I mean, perhaps they look a little bit like a small teenager. Uh, uh, you know, they have small uh, antlers, uh, fluffy ears, uh, hooves, uh, dressed in a sort of a utility vest. Uh, and a greasy uh, sweater uh, and uh, equally greasy pants. My guess is I've probably dealt with them in some way, shape or form in the past, because if they work in the factories, I probably would have dealt with the factories when it came to working no, not, on not, not so much, because most of the things tends to be handmade. Right, okay. The, fact, the factories are, you know, people are trying to stay away from those. There right, are okay. things that you can buy that are made in them, but no one really wants to go to the factories because then you have to go to the Grey Forges. And okay, the, the places that are still active are tends to be towards the uh, rust, uh, the rust swamps, and the, okay, those cool. are nasty. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm crumpet. Christopher. Coin Foundry? Cool. No, it's not. No? Okay. <clears throat> I, I, I design houses. That is cool, though. And get lost. That can be both an annoyance and a feature. I mean, if you get lost, you cannot, you know, you have a good excuse for not being docked. This is true, I think. Uh, I don't really know the workings of factory work, so... Uh, well, uh, we, we, we get uh, terrible food, terrible pay, terrible hours, and, uh, you know... Uh, we are trying to organize. And, you know, uh, because... Well... We also do petty crime. I noticed. Well, that was not petty crime, that was just no petty fun. Oh, okay. Uh, how do you get down from here? Uh, uh, tell us. Uh, I, I shall conjure up a, um, you know, a little... Basically, I, I shall conjure up a rope. Okay. <clears throat> I'm guessing it would be utility magic. Yeah. You do magic. Yeah. Tell us. You do magic. Should we? Yeah. Can you teach us? We can pay. Other people's coins. I'm not very good at teaching. We are not good at learning, so it seems like a good match. Um, I'll tell you what you should do. There's a guy called Lech. No. He sells. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's where I bought the books I use to start learning how to make do magic. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, go there, get a couple of the books, and start from uh, there. Get some very good beginners books. Cool, uh, fellas. He doesn't want to teach us, but we he, we got uh, you know directions to a place that sells books. Uh, it's less cool. not uh, want; it's a case of not able to. Uh, okay. Uh, and you hear something, they shout something in a language you don't understand. And I'll ask, I'll ask, uh, can you teach us how to write and read? Uh, possibly, but I'm it's a go. Little... It's a go, people. It's a go. Uh, we have a teacher. Uh, but not today. Yeah, no. I've, I've got some stuff that I need to deal with. Once that's dealt with, I can come find you if you tell me uh, where, and we can arrange something. Your name was Christopher, right? Yes. Any last name? Benson. Cool. Thank you. We'll find yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's climb, climb down. Uh, 
and they talk so, uh, among themselves and then go, uh, all of them just looks at you and smile. We're gonna learn how to read, people. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then fireballs. Yeah! And then... <laughs> I just sit on the edge of the roof and I go, this week's been weird. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to take a small break. Five minutes. Uh, I, I, should, I should set a timer. I should have a stream timer because we're because everyone's so adamant <laughs> about this. I can do what I did last time. No, but I want one like on screen. Like I should have set a timer <laughs> up on screen is what I'm saying, but it's my bad. But we'll be back in five. So uh, make sure you hydrate and do a stretch and do all the things. Take care of you because we're going to do take care of us. So see you in a few. Bye. See you soon. Oh, hi. We're back. How are you? How are you? Surprise, surprise, we're back. Bet you weren't expecting that. Uh, are we back even before the five minutes were up? I think so. No. Yes. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. We're magical. We're magical people like that. You're or, 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 or at least it's, I mean, it's either that or it's between five or six minutes at most. So, I mean, we are still. Yeah. An yes, actual Ethan. five? Yeah. Yes, Ethan. We are uh, quite actual punctual on this. <laughs> <laughs> it has it has been a consistent thing that we uh, actually take an exact five minute break and yeah, we've been keeping to it. The hope is that we will break the internet <laughs> or at least Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, back in the game. Yeah. Inside the store, where we those of us were not screen. delighted by fawns. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> you hear a scream, uh, a thud from above, and then you hear a, sh a, a chatter from outside. When you can see through the window, two fawns standing and looking up, and then occasionally they shout up. Oh no! Uh. No. I I mm, I shouldn't have left him alone. <laughs> did did we just lose Christopher? He's dead. Maybe I. I mean, probably we have found humans. Look, we confirming more and more. Super squishy. Mm -hmm, that's true. I'll, I'll just leave. <laughs> I just leave. I just I'll leave. I'm really nervous, actually. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I love it. I uh, turn back to say goodbye to uh, uh, Talbot and Magdalena, our beloved Morticia and Gomez Adams, and uh, see them just dancing. And I'm like, okay, but, 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 no, okay. Yeah, it's like the yeah. third wheel in the room. Kind of yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going uh, to go. You I, have... I, yeah, you would. Bye. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as you leave, uh, Talbot kicks the counter and it just it's like on wheels it just slams into the wall so it's, it makes more room to dance yeah the space is is prepared at any moment for them to break into dance to like for dancing uh, to yeah. dance <laughs> dance moves amazing amazing yeah of course it does. Uh, and outside you see the two fawns one of them have uh, sort of a hair put up in sort of a pigtail and the other one has it you know Curly and in, it looks like uh, a little bit. Uh, you know when you have soap in water, you know the rainbow coloring. Mm. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, the hair has sort of the those, like an oil slick, like the. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Cool. And then you see a third one that climbed out on a rope and <laughs> Christopher following. No, I'm sat on the roof, remember? Okay, yeah. And then he jumped. <sighs> Christopher? 
he, he, he's up there. Oh. It's one point. He jumped up and it was amazing, and you should charge Are money for okay? that. Are you okay? Yeah. It's been a day. Yeah, no. What? What are you doing up there? You screamed. One, what, what, uh, one the, the, minute. That, 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 that was our fault. We were, uh, you know, uh, we wanted I, to I, see what he had in his satchel. Mm, mm -hmm. But it's none of your business. Well, it could have become our business if we had, you know, but we just wanted to look. We didn't want to take anything. Uh -huh. I'm sure about that. You I'm gonna, I mean, I roll up the sleeves of my dress like very menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm, gonna, no I'm gonna back that up. <laughs> There's no muscles on John Quill, but <laughs> I, I look, I look very angry and and stand yeah. menacingly in front of them. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't attack my friends next time. We, we don't attack. I mean, he was just standing there. He yelped, he and I mean, shrieked. it was yeah. First, he yelped, and then it was very high pitched. That came afterwards, yes. But that we will accept, and uh, a small dog pay for that. I shall be climbing down at this point. <laughs> uh, right. But uh... this is our human, okay? And the books <laughs> that he's got are my books. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. He is going to learn to uh, learn to teach us how to read and write, so that I we could, can get We could back. do that at the fucking library. Uh, that's my job. Well, not my job, but. And they look at each other. Another one that I can read and write. I mean, we can we can let, we can actually read our contracts next time. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, ap I mean, apparently they need to learn to read and write, so they can learn magic, so they can cast fireballs, so they can. Yeah. Be well, why yeah. didn't you just say so? We here. We we are we are. Uh, we work at the factory and uh, we make coins. And uh, then uh, we are trying to organize a, what, what, what was it they called it? A, a strike team. A strike team. All right. Yeah. Well, here's my card. Actually, take that back because you can't read it. Um, I'm going to draw <laughs> a very crude map of the cross junction where the flotsam is on yeah. top of my little information. And then yeah. hand it back to them. Uh, I, I, I'm Crumpet. This is my strike team. We are planning to, you know, team up and go to strike. Uh, this is Mitten. <laughs> and uh, the one with the uh, uh, curly hair and that looks like an oil slick uh, waves a little bit. And then uh, uh, Crumpet points to the third one uh, with the ponytail and this is Dodgy. Dodger? Dodgy. <clears throat> I agree. The situation is very dodgy. Yeah, I, mean, I would have stolen the satchel. I need to be honest. And says uh, dodgy. Uh. Well, <clears throat> is good. Thank you for admitting it. You're supposed to be honest about things. Yeah, no, that's that's you, you've done a good job, and uh, you know you're 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 rebelling against the man that's keeping you down. I can appreciate that. That's uh, you know you, uh, and definitely reading the contracts next time will probably be a benefit. Yeah, uh, apparently they Don't had jump uh, on people. Uh, they have a clause now against you know stabbing the foreman. Unreasonable, unreasonable work expectations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christopher and they all three look at you and then they in unison be seeing you and then they run away what? okay I wash them right what do we tell you about not doing anything when we're not present to defend you <laughs> you almost died you almost died 
How how do you find trouble like this? It found me. You can't even defend yourself. They seemed pretty innocent. They don't even stab their foreman or anything like that. <laughs> They're clearly good kids. No, he, they said the new contracts have the anti-stabbing thing. Mm. Not the ones they've got. And also, uh, as, you, as you ponder on this, I also know that they can't read the contracts. So how do they know that uh, yeah. it has a clause? They definitely had to test that clause <laughs> at some point. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But hey, maybe they heard it through the grapevine at work. They're clearly good. But I was good just standing kids. there, minding my own business. Next thing I know, they're on top of me, yanking at my satchel. So I jumped on the roof. Well, mind your business harder next time, all right? Because I'm maybe next time we won't be here. I'm glad you're okay. Okay, so I can deal with it by myself without you being here, like I dealt with it without you being here this time. No, that was all us. Yeah, it seemed like the only thing you did to deal with it this time was shriek like a banshee, which that's an interesting mm. skill we didn't know you had. Well, I didn't Jungle, know I could do that. Do you, do you primarily yeah. deal with the fiction section of the library? Uh, no, magic is very real, and dark magic is even more real. I just ask, because you seem to be apt with fiction. Uh, are, you, are you claiming you didn't shriek like you? a banshee? I'm claiming I dealt with it myself. Mm. Mm, not sure about that one, Chief. Okay. It's all right. Next time, next time. Uh, so, while you were out here hanging with the cool kids, we... Uh, did uh find some information uh about telling the twins apart did the puppy get the door open again that's he amazing the amazing puppy is magical he's a genius he's a genius is... oh <laughs> carry on that's fine he could do it he could do it so in my old house he could do it quick side tangent he could do it with the lovers that you know yeah. had the bars these are round ones. Apparently, he has now also figured out how to open those doors. Oh my god, it's does a your... fucking velociraptor from dress. <laughs> I was gonna say, does your <laughs> dog have opposable thumbs? Cause <gasps> gasp. Oh, he's so smart. Amazing, oh. amazing. God. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> uh, just, just so we can tell. Okay, we we definitely want to make friends with Gwendolyn. That's the good twin. Uh, Awina, <laughs> the bad t twin. Uh, overly mm -hmm. ambitious, doesn't mind putting other people out of the way for it, uh, a blood purist, uh, and is kind of into a vampire evolution, and we could tell them apart via uh, red eyes is the bad one, slightly less red eyes, <laughs> the like good orange. one. It's the orange burst, wasn't that? Out of character, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. That's what, it, it was an orange burst, but it was described as, like, it's not... No, it's not like you know, extremely noticeably different. It's like, mm. I'm just gonna ask something out, character. Is it good to say that on the walk to wherever we go next, you fill me in on the conversation I wasn't present to? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. The character yeah. I have out of character becomes in character. <laughs> Perfect. Let's yeah. do this. Cool. So, so where are we going next? Yeah. Do we want to check out? Augur next, or did we want to check out Lech? I think that's going to be the easiest lead to follow up on. Augur, um, yeah. But I'm um, going to to Lech, maybe, because Lech knows Augur. That okay, so we want to start with Lech and then work towards Augur? Yeah, because I don't think we have an idea for what to do to get close to Gwendolyn. To get close to Augur, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so. that sounds fine. Yeah, we would have asked more questions, but they started... Dancing, and you know, you just can't interrupt that. You just can't. Once the dancing starts, mm -hmm. there's no way around it. Okay, so we are currently in in red shade, right? Uh, no, gray forges. Gray, gray forges. forges yep. Sorry, so eight, and then we want to go to the old district, which is two. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> doop doop doop. Boop. Hey, we're there. <laughs> I'm pretty Did sure. you say you knew him? Nicholas, you're muted. Christopher. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've bought some stuff from him in the past. Like what kind of stuff? There's some books Illegal stuff? No. 
He just had some books that were good on magic. I bought them. Some other bits and pieces to help with my magical studies. Mm. And the runes and stuff like that. I will say he's quite cranky. Is he human? He seems the type. And, uh... <clears throat> he will, uh... Uh, I need to look up. Yeah, okay. So you've... You've bought oddities from Lech's oddities? Yes. Uh, and, yeah, uh, you are standing outside of his shop. And it looks like, you know, an antique shop, uh, slash pawn shop. Uh, lots of odd things. Uh, there are uh, lamps. It looks like someone hasn't used them in a while. Uh, <clears throat> and there's a small sign that says that uh, uh, legend artists will uh, buy anything that that's odd. Well, huh. we know oh. something odd. I was going to say odd. Should you like not go in there or like just we'll just let them know you're not for sale. It's fine. Well, I mean, you could oh, just... differently. <laughs> <laughs> and <it's> an A. <laughs> and I can see the confusion. It does sound very similar. Well, uh, he doesn't have to know that. No. So we're gonna... I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <clears throat> yeah, and the door is one of those with, you know... Uh, it's a bit odd because uh, normally when you uh, have you have the door and it's uh, you know glass mm. window in it. Uh, here it's a mirror oh. for some reason. Uh, Interesting. <clears throat> the big mirror. Uh, yeah, and as you enter, you uh, uh, there is a sort of a. It's not the bell in here. It's more like a. Some sort of magic that, you know, makes people inside aware of your presence. Because at the moment you step in, you, you get a feeling that there are, you know, five people inside the shop, including you. Hmm. And, uh... It's <clears throat> weird. Like it's actually like how big is this shop? Like it's is it quite squashed with five other people? It, it, it's or is there just another mirror inside? Now it, it's quite uh, alleyways, small alleyways with you know trinkets and stuff. You know, it's it reminds you a little bit about the library in that way. Mm -hmm. It's things on display, and then there is a sort of a counter that, and then. You can tell that behind the counter it's an even bigger room. Uh, and you can see on the shelves there are skulls on things you don't know what it is. There are uh, swords, uh, uh, small figurines. Uh, Slania is like picking up a sword and like Swinging it around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't put your eye out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got you, two of them. Yeah, and as you pull it out and put it out, so then the sort of a young bluish flame just lights Ooh. up on the edge, Ooh. and then you have. Please do not disturb the merchandise. Uh, isn't it for, you know. It's for display, not for playing around with. Well, that's, uh, what's the fun with that? Well, you can play around with it after you have paid. Well, um, I, I was just, just looking. I, I didn't realize it was going to erupt into flame, I have to admit. And now that I have seen that, I will put it back. And, <laughs> like, they're putting it back, but they're looking at it real... Like, they're doing it really yeah. slow. Awesome. <laughs> Two. I'll put it back. <laughs> Yeah, and you see uh, Lech, who is a 
hunched backed fey outcast with the sort of a one of those mustaches that is twirled and uh, he's looking at you and uh, his eyes are you know narrow slits and uh, as he look at you and squints a little bit then I have Christopher. <laughs> I should have no. Oh, you found that book for me. No. Uh... <sighs> I have not found it book. Uh... Oh. I have been telling you it's been out of print. <laughs> it's really hard to find because, you know, uh, no one knows where it is. But the first time I came in here, you told me your speciality was finding rare, hard-to-find books. Uh, it, I tried to do that, yes, but there are, uh, there are issues with finding lost books. Uh, oh. uh, as I'm sure uh, uh, this person, and he points towards uh, John Quill, can attest, other people tend to find lost books before I do. We specialize in lost things. And I know people assume that books are things, uh, which they might be, but uh, for some bizarre reason, the Dryads have, uh, you know, a more on specialized uh, Retrieval squad. Right. Books are not just things. They're special. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> oh, <it's great. laughs> I can't. Uh, so, uh, uh, what did you find that sword interesting? Huh? I, and he looks at Anja. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, swords are pretty cool in general, but this one is also on fire, <laughs> which like definitely takes it up a notch. You know? Yes. Uh, uh that one has uh, sort of a. It's not the kind of fire that's good at uh, reading by the bedside table, uh, but uh, on the other hand, it's... <sighs> I've been told it singes flesh very well. Uh, is, does it uh, like certain kinds of flesh? Uh, well, uh, I quickly I move away from the sword. <laughs> <laughs> I am highly flammable. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am too, which is why I'm yes. asking. And I'm like, it's it's back in its case, right? Yeah. Like, which is why I was asking, like, like you know. Yeah. Let's give the living... flaming sword to the, the well, to the, the creature wrapped in gauze. That's good. Yeah, exactly. I'm it's like, fine. you know, is it uh, does it particularly like living flesh or dead flesh or? Well, uh, I need to look. You know, I'm just gonna, like, they start putting it back. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah, mm, I'll, you know, maybe not the best plan. Uh, where are those? Uh... Cool, cool, cool sword, bro. But maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe, uh... maybe, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't keep a flaming sword on my extremely <laughs> flammable person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Although, you uh, well, know, maybe uh, one day if I finish becoming a vampire, <laughs> I don't know it, if that'll it, be better or worse. I have, uh, from what I have understand about the sword, it's, uh, it, under, it, it burns through uh, armor. Uh, Are those people we were fighting a little while ago armored? Oh, that's Their guards were yes. Hey, hey, Christopher, are you flammable? <laughs> kind of, but no more or less so than a normal person. So, 
less than me. <laughs> so maybe. That's nah, fine. I'm not flammable. Right, right. Least you made it wrong. Points to all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, if you're interested in weapons, I might have some uh, older uh, daggers. Uh, for example, this one, it has a. Uh, it seems to seek out blood, mm. specifically. So, uh, would it seek out those who like to drink blood, would you say? Uh, uh, no, it's it's more like uh, when you stab someone, uh, it uh, makes the wound more... Uh, it then s puts a straw in and there it, and starts slurping? Uh, no, 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 it, it's more... Uh, and then he makes the, you know... Uh, a, a mime motion for, you know, splatter bloods onto the walls, you know. Oh. I think it's it, flamboyantly trying to tell you that it's sharp. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's it, it's quite uh, vicious. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Some weak-willed people have said that it encourages, you know, stabbing, but I do not believe those. Oh, it, it has never told me anything. Maybe you just weren't listening hard enough. I listen to anyone that have a deal to make. Uh, we also have a... Uh, but are you interested in something specific, or are you just browsing? I push Christopher to the floor. Yeah, you know this <laughs> dude, dude! Get in there! <sighs> Um, I, 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 okay, we're doing this. <laughs> You're doing what? Occupy space in my store? Yes, you do, Christopher. <laughs> sure told you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, we have... Uh, and I will also clarify for people who weren't here last session, uh, we made a roll to see how well people knew about... Fletch, and it turns out that they have a thing against Christopher. Oh, uh, so we mm. shouldn't have put Christopher <laughs> no, on the front to yeah. speak to them. Oh, this is great. Um, this is great. I was the only one who got a success as to whether I knew him, but I got yeah. multiple yeah. threat on the roll, so I knew him. Because uh, Rule 20 hates <laughs> us, honestly. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Okay, this, this 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 should be easy. This 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 should not aggravate your crankiness. That would be a first. We have been told you sold some stuff to someone. We... I have been I have been selling stuff to a lot of people. Uh, people who have coins, people who can pay for it, people who do not ask to be paid in services or. Uh, Hypotheticals. Well, if you fix your door, I wouldn't offer. My door is fine. One of the hinges isn't on there anymore. Doesn't need more than one. It's <laughs> perfectly fine. <clears throat> anyway, this is something that you might like, because to a certain extent, it involves you getting something for nothing. I'm listening. Your stock level would not go down. But your money level would go up. Who are you and what have you done with Christopher? <laughs> Christopher, good job. We believe someone got some stuff from you. What we'd like to know is what they got. Uh, what they've bought from you in the past and what you know about them. The person being Orga. Oh, yeah, he, he has bought lots and lots of stuff. Uh, well, uh, and he looks Which at you. Which gold do I have? <laughs> uh, I had 14 gold. I don't know how much that I've got, got spent purchasing fancy blood. Whoops! <laughs> Probably 
So I know I didn't spend all of mine. I know I left a decent little chunk yeah, of change. Yeah, I thought I still had money too, I but I can't it. find it. It's um, on it's... Uh, first page. Oh, I it's on item inventory for me. Okay. Oh, I have 390 money. Is that enough money? I... <laughs> Whoa! Wait, where is this? <laughs> wow! On the very where? first page under character info, it like literally is like your name. Oh, your I don't even have that. I don't even have it on there. I don't I even. I uh, ain't got nothing. Because I think I, it's, I, I think I started with started a good chunk gold. of money, and I only bought two. I bought like I literally buy, bought some like pipe tobacco. Like I bought some like cigarettes yeah. for rolling. Like. <laughs> uh because lanya is yeah, dead it think... doesn't feel bad about smoking and then <laughs> um yeah i literally have pipe weed and have and robes that's all i have mm. on that's all i mm. bought so i still have a decent chunk of money okay, yeah, I, I think, think roll 20 must have bugged out when i was doing my equipment because i don't have my money or any of my equipment outside yeah i don't i don't have that either so i don't know okay. who knows oh well. i feel like we all have some monies yeah uh, if you don't have uh, both anything, it, you should get about a buck fifty. Five five hundred. Ah. <clears throat> uh, could you? Uh, do you have that link to that table quickly? Because I've got a couple of things written down here. Yeah, sure. I just want to uh, see roughly how much I've got left. I, I can link it in the. Because I know it was it was a Google Doc, wasn't it? That's the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that way I can quickly look and I can see how much money I've got left roughly. Um, well, uh, if there's talk of money, like Slanya might like take some out and kind of flick it kind of visibly. And then like if if Nick, if sorry, if Christopher is God, succeeding, if, are you, you, you <clears throat> are trying to do this? You talking to this dude? Um, so, um, OK, so how much is a gold coin is, you know, when it comes to doing this sort of thing? <laughs> uh, okay. Basically, what I want to know is what is the equivalent of you know of sliding like a fiver? What is the equivalent of uh, you know sliding a tenner? You know, <laughs> so yeah. well, uh, I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, for example, uh, a dagger costs sixty. Ooh. So, how I'm, much would a dagger cost in the real world? I have no idea, by the way. Uh, but, um, <laughs> thinking if we can see something that actually is, exists in the real world. Uh, Daggers exist uh, in the real world. Yeah, pocket knives. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't depends know, on it depends on how many doodads they have on them mm. nowadays. Yeah. Does it uh, does it also have like a corkscrew? And because <laughs> then because then it's like a hundred <clears throat> money is like. I mean, what we need is something which is both then and now, and they used slash wanted about the same in both. Yeah, uh, a fine cloak costs 90, and I mean, that sounds... Gucci. Well, if it's fine, yeah. you're yeah. talking, you know... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'd say yeah, one for one is probably so, about right. Yeah, so, but I'm thinking of fiber for that, you know, it's probably a one here, so, because it seems like some of the okay. things are very... Cheap yeah. Otherwise, okay. So a gold reveal. Okay. So I'll put a gold. Uh, I shall make it obvious that I have more. Put a gold on the table on the counter in front of him. Push it across to him. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, who is it? Yeah. He's. Yeah, I can take this then. And he takes the money. In. Uh, and don't say I'd never did anything for you, Christopher. You've you've done lots for me. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, you, uh, he uh, came in here and he bought some uh, some kind of uh, old uh, magical icon. I don't know what it's for. So, uh, but he he Could described paid... it. What? Could you describe it? Right. Uh, what it did looked, it look like? It looked uh, like a sort of a. A square, uh, and then it had some uh, wriggles coming out from it, like uh, some sort of an energy blast. Would any of this spark any memories from the various knowledge I have? Uh, make a forbidden Same. knowledge. Both of you, and I will set the difficulty okay. to... Uh, remove those. So glad I put that up. Mm. <laughs> 
yeah, you can make it all roll now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice, John Quill. Okay. He just I doesn't bet. like you. He doesn't yeah. like you. <laughs> uh, yeah, for John Quill, it's. Uh, you uh, think it might be a sort of a focus or some ritual? Mm. Um. <coughs> Lightning. <coughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Our very first question from the very first episode is who who called down forth all this lightning and you just found a focus oh, with lightning yeah, symbols on it? Lightning. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well. Uh, well. Yeah, uh, and uh, he bought a few. Uh, well. Uh, Minor magical staffs. Uh, they, they are, you know, just, you know, basically uh, the magic in them is uh, that they uh, don't break, I think. If struck uh, by lightning, question mark? Well, uh, pardon me, what is this fascination with lightning? I mean, when there's lightning outside, you're supposed to stay indoors. Yes, you know the storm we had last week? Uh, yes. It rained as hell. Yes. Well, a couple of people a died. A little bit more than that, yes. A couple of people died. We found out. Oh, no. Someone... How horrible. Was it anyone I know? No. So we found out someone did it. <laughs> oh... Ah, mm -hmm. so uh, I must ask, are you after some kind of uh, bounty fee? Is well, not, you not for you. We're like, well, I, if, if I have, sectors. if I have, if I have helped you solve this case, I mean, I could get, you know, a consultant fee and the prices down here might go down a little bit and I might find a book for you, Christopher. I thought well, you said it, you it's didn't not sell really... books. We sell books, but I am, um, he's... It's not really working like <laughs> that. Uh, if anything, it's kind of the opposite. You see... The people involved with this may have connections quite high up, so people that are obviously helping might have a, be in trouble. But so it, you have a bounty on you? No, 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 I'm just an architect. You're a purveyor in well, uh, you know, lots yeah, of stuff. I, I, yeah, 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 I know. And to quote you, uh may not always have the most legal of origins. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we were to go to the council and tell them that you had information about this, that, and the other. Um, or, of course, we could carry on like we were before, you not trying to get more, you not trying to rip us off, me giving you money, and you answering our questions. Uh, make, a make a coercion roll. Uh, can it be negotiation? Because it is kind of no. A no, I'm saying because I am doing the whole transaction of money. <sighs> Who are we threatening people I am, now? Do you I want am me to proposing come yes. people with you. <laughs> money. Uh, I'm good at coercion too. The We're just in the back, like yeah, get him, Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, uh, make a negotiation then, but then I it's, it will be. Okay. It, it just turns one of my two dice into an actual proficiency dice. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Two successes and a threat. So he's going to like me even less, but he's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels like this... Uh, I will lose a little bit on this, but okay. He also bought... I slide uh, another one. I slide another coin over. <laughs> yeah, and he takes it and... Thank you. Uh, 
I knew there was a true gentleman hiding within you somewhere. He, they, he also bought uh, some... Uh, Uh, let me see. Uh, some potions. Uh, you know, uh, something, uh, you know, uh, to uh, dull the senses a little bit. Um, Okay. Um, from I, 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 to I told him this is you know uh, quite a potent uh, potion, and he should know what he's doing. But he said it was not for him, and it would be diluted. So I mean, would I, as a as a healer kind of person, know what this might be? How strong it might be? What anything about that? Uh... Yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, make a uh, medicine roll. Okay. Uh, am I good to go? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh. Hey. Damn. Failures, uh. but uh. Yeah, what the yeah. heck? What is a triumph? Like, triumph. have we ever gotten a triumph before? What does it do? The, the yeah, time we, we got it before was with, with the, the music. With the, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Very useful. Yeah, you don't know uh, the specific effects of the drug because it sounds like he doesn't know exactly either. I mean, just dulling the senses doesn't say okay. that much. Hmm. But the whole uh, uh, diluting thing means that it's, uh, and it's not, it's for someone else. It means that he will probably use it to drug someone. Yep. And knowing this, it might either be, you know, uh, through uh, diluting in uh, uh, a glass, something you drink, or uh, perhaps even. Uh, as a sort of a you know scented uh, candle type thing. Why did you say scented candles? <laughs> did you? Yeah. I know that sounds. <laughs> that was, you that literally... was magic, but, but yeah, but but I mean, I'm meaning it's it's you know through uh, yeah sort of uh, like smoke and you know in the air. Why you know, why has scented candles never come up until now? And suddenly in this episode, I mean, it's the because... hot topic. <laughs> The first one was because it was cool, and now it's just because <laughs> that's what my mind yeah, went when it good. was, you okay. know, huh. as a as a uh, infection vector. It's fine, but I'm suspicious now. <laughs> that doesn't sound. Jess, good. you haven't been sponsored by somebody or anything. Uh, hey, does any sense of candles want to sponsor us? <laughs> hey, hey, cantrip candles, or uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of which other ones there are. <laughs> yeah. uh, they make very good candles. Because, yeah, what you will also get is it needs to be hidden in something, probably. This... Okay. Mm, well, I have that... theories, but I'm not going to discuss them in front of, in front of Letch, so... <laughs> that yeah. does not sound good. All right. Uh, Anything else? Well, uh... He bought some, uh... This is going to sound like I'm crazy, but I swear it. This is what he bought, okay? He bought 11 ropes. You know, magical robes where, you know, you have a hoodie on, and it sounds very theatrical for me. I mean... Okay, when you say magical robes, are you saying that the robes are actually magic, or they're the type of robes that people that use magic would wear? Uh, the later, I mean... Uh, okay. He's kind of a cheapskate, so I mean, he, I tried to get him to buy the, you know, the ones with actual runes on them and not you know someone has had fake runes stitched on to them but uh now nah, he, he was 
quite uh, he was satisfied with the cheaper ones and it's... Hmm. okay you say he's bought lots of stuff over the years and all that sort of stuff at any it... point has he bought anything that would strike of a necromantic air well I mean 11 robes uh, that was you know uh, and the potion that was the last time I saw him and that was a month and a half ago or something uh, and then uh, you know past that in the past I mean he's been buying you know wands I mean to sell the wands when it's broken uh, he's bought one of those uh, tomes uh, you know the magical ones with spells uh was it one of the ones I bought as well? Yeah. Or? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he also bought one of the more advanced ones at, right away. And uh, he, he returned the, you know, the teacher's book uh, a little later. And, you know, it had an aroma of uh, fiery mishaps. I don't think he should dabble, but, you know. I let him do it because I know where he lives. Do you want to tell us where he lives? No. I mean, if he dies, I mean, that means I get, you know, I first one there to have no, an no, option. No. Are things. you the only person in the whole world who knows where he lives? No, but... I mean, we won't tell... Anybody that they know you in case he dies or anything like that? Yeah, that's completely unrelated. So, so you're you're not waiting for him to die then? No, no. Why? Why? No. You know, you you no. don't. <laughs> well, hang on. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, if if you're not going to take what will be mine when he fails. Uh, with whatever it is he's doing, I mean, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, you just, you know, you said that you, you know, he's buying these odd things. You don't know why he's buying these odd things. Maybe we just have a few questions. Like, it's, uh, it's not, you know. Make a charm roll. Oh, shit. I was, oh, no. Uh, I, I, I like, I was going to start breaking I, stuff gonna... in. I was gonna start breaking stuff in the okay. shop to threaten him. I was debating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we'll, 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 I'm we'll taking something then. that looks fragile that's near the edge of a shelf and I'm slowly moving it towards the <laughs> okay, edge. Yeah. I'm oh, like Oh, oh, it's gonna mm. Or What? You no. Know, he's we think he's been killing all these people and you know, you're the one who sold him a bunch of stuff and you know probably Ooh, accessory to murder else is gonna listen. If I, 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 I was not in, involved. Uh, so, uh, so, I believe the terms are accessory after the fact. Since uh, Ord is helping you, mm -hmm. make a, a coercion roll. Okay, I want to <laughs> use I want to use my clever retort because when when Odd started suggesting yeah. this line of thing, I wanted to start like suggesting like things he can get in trouble for like i'm like oh that doesn't sound good you could get in trouble for a lot of stuff here my bud like that's real bad clever... for you clever retort puts two setback dice on him against us does it have a trigger or something or once it... per encounter your character can use his talent to add an automatic two setback dice to another character's social skill check yeah okay and you can actually use that even with you know Charm and stuff. Oh gosh darn! It, because it's all social shit. Yeah, but I, I have like. to I have to insult people to do or like say something yeah, yeah, crappy exactly. and, yeah. and I don't always want to do that. When like when I'm charming someone, I don't usually want to say something snappy at yeah. them. So it's one of those talents which is badly named. Yeah. Because yeah. the talent helps everything, but the name says it's just the negative stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it but, good to go? but it can work it can work with negotiations and stuff like that because okay. it, all the social skills. Okay, so is it good Oops. to go? Yeah. 
Um, okay. Would my um, if I because I'm not making the roll specifically, but I have Wicked Smile, which Ooh. gives a it gives specifically me, but uh, yeah. a a square. Uh, I have I have given a okay. an uh, uh, boost die. Perfect. Uh, because you're helping. Sweet. That's good. I'm okay with that. Hey, hey, so, a, a success so well. and three advantages. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Uh, and he's, you know, looking, he's looking a bit more hunched back now. You know? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I, 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 I am an on, I'm an honest, honest, I'm a businessman. Oh, we believe that. I'm just saying and, other uh, people uh, might not if they heard about this. And so we, you know, you should probably just let us go deal with it. And like, of course, help us in any way you can. Otherwise, you know, people would assume you're hindering us for a negative reason. Well, uh, I have heard that he has taken up shop in uh, the upper tower in the castle. Oh, mm. bunch. Do you know any good ways of getting into the castle? <laughs> oh, so fly. far, I thought we can fly. Oh, that's right. My... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, well, uh, uh, he had, uh, you know, a, a small uh, building in, uh, uh, where was it? It was in the... Ghost Park? Ooh, ghost uh, park. But uh, but uh, it's clean now. By which you mean you've already checked it for interesting things? I mean, obviously. I mean, I don't know who has been spreading lies about me, but yes. Okay, that's fine. Just what did you find in there? Uh, I. There's, there's no point right. in us going to Ghost Park. You've already been there. That's fine. You've saved us a journey. Just tell us what you found. I, I, I found uh, some sort of a, a racist edged blade. And he, he goes down by the counter and pulls up a box. And this is what I found in his. And then he opens it up and it's uh, a dagger that's uh, on both sides it's uh, serrated? Really serrated and uh, it seems to even be uh, made to it will be terrible if you stab someone with this does it look uh, like a like a sacrificial like does it have yes. any like mm. yes this is you know and uh well he also forgot I can't believe I'm mm -hmm. uh, this uh uh let's see if we can uh uh We found, uh, we also had, uh, a collapsible staff. He probably just didn't see it. It's this one. And he points at the small, uh, metal and it has petrified wood in it. Metal edges and does it look like it's been struck by lightning i'm gonna like no. look at john quill and i'm like does this look like spooky magic uh, to you uh does it i don't i don't know <laughs> it, it, it works like this and it takes takes it and holds it and then he just you know averts his eyes a little bit and then uh the sides of the uh, staff just expands, and it's a proper metal and petrified wood staff. Whoa. It doesn't do any spe specific other things. It's no, just no, a, a his eyes just because he's... Oh. 
That's cool. Yeah. I mean, I should find big ex exploding stuff. Creepy. That's cool. Uh, and, uh... Odd, do we need that? I'm gonna, like, lean in over <laughs> at Odd. Do who we seems, need that? Who's very I interested mean, at the, I, in I this. I used to just use my shovel if someone, you know, comes and bothers the shop, but... Do you want me to tell him we need that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that looks like something we're gonna need for our investigation. You can keep the spooky blade, but I think we oh. might need to take the staff with us, or it might be a problem. Uh, okay, uh... Fine. Uh... Odd will uh, grab uh, it before he changes it. <laughs> 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 I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Um, it's laid out like metal and petrified wood and stuff. Sweet. I, 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 I want you to do one thing, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have uh, some fungus. Oh, I mean, I do too. That's something that we all do sometimes, my bud. You know, decomposition. No, no, it's no, a no. natural. And it, and it takes up a, a small potion. Ah. A bottle of it. Uh, if you don't do anything untowards to him, mm -hmm. I, I want you to. Uh... Flash this in his face. No, uh, pour it on his clothes, perhaps. Ooh. Is it, what will it do? Is it acid? It will, ma it will make him itch, and it will be really, really annoying. Oh, that's valid. Uh, that sounds very funny. Yes, I, I like that idea. I like that. I think that can be arranged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> We don't want to do any like big I mean, evils, but like a small like small evil, misdemeanor, of course. It's fine. Uh, misdemeanors are our our yeah. jam. Graffiti, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all good. I fucking we're, we're love petty okay. crime. It's fine. <laughs> we're not okay you with evil, do petty but we're perfectly fine with dickhead. Uh, Sorry? Well uh I said I said that, you know, we're we're not down with being evil, but we're perfectly down with dickhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, he was in here looking for something as well, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but I said I didn't have it because I had, you know, it was quite recently, uh, and the reason why I said I didn't have it was because, you know, uh, I it was also among the things I found in his uh, place. Mm -hmm. uh, a necklace of thunderous voice, you know, so he can boom out. Oh, okay. You still have it? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, this other box I'm gonna, uh, here, and he opens it, and it's, a, you know, a finely crafted, uh, golden necklace. And I assume this just makes you talk loudly. Yes, it's, uh, uh, I don't want to use it in here because it makes, you know, the places... I have windows, you see. Ah. And they rattle a lot when you use this because it's, you know... <sighs> it allows you to talk over long distances. Also, I've now, been told. If you were to sell it to him, how much would it have cost? Well, uh... For you... 300. No, I asked you how much it would have cost him. <sighs> 250. <laughs> well, I can't afford it. All my money's tied up in my new business. Yeah, that's. Is there anything else you guys can think of? Yes, is it something specific you are looking for? I mean, I have things. <laughs> Anyone want anything? No. Ooh, one second. I got my thing for the day. 
You did you did get a thing, that's true. I got I got a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see how selfless I am getting something for someone else instead of myself. <laughs> something something to help make magical spells work better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, candles. <laughs> <laughs> Scented candles. Can Scented candles. It's fine. We all know how much those help. So much so that someone might specialize in the magic of scented candles. <laughs> Alright. No, I I'm I'm good here. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I got any more questions. I think we have a, a new thing uh to <sighs> check out. Some new items. I shall, I shall, I shall, um, okay, according to the tallied mark that I've been doing, is I shall slide another couple of gold over. So he's had a total of five. Yeah. But he's had a, he's had a decent amount of cash. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, he still doesn't like me, but at least he can't say I, try, <laughs> I completely ripped him off. Well, uh, if that was all, yeah, it was. Uh, it was nice chatting with you. We'll. Uh, we'll. Uh, Looking for that book. It was nice meeting you all and Christopher. Uh, please uh, come back and make business anytime. Sounds good. He he doesn't actually mean anytime. He does have opening hours. Yes, uh, I do. And uh, that you need to specify that, Christopher, <laughs> is the reason. <laughs> no, it's fine. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I imagine we all go outside. Shot. Yeah, I imagine yeah, we all yeah. go outside, and, and then I, I just want to look at everyone and be like, so, uh, are we going to the castle? Um, our... Once Maybe. we're out of here, I'm going to say, Odd, you're the Healy person. Yeah. If you were to dull somebody's senses, that would take you out of action, as it were, right? Um, hang on. Put it this way. If you, that thing which dulled senses, mm -hmm. yeah, could it potentially make someone who is normally fairly active in, say, the running of the city take a step back and allow <laughs> others to do it? Oh, you mean the Duchess. Yeah. I'm just wondering if this whole thing is some sort of coup. Yeah, I mean, well... Yeah. You mean against the Duchess or for the Duchess? Yeah, against, against... the Duchess. Yeah. Well, we did I mean, all suspect her at first, but we haven't seen heads nor tails oh, of her, and those who have spent time with her said she hasn't been herself lately. Uh, yeah, we've I been seeing wanna... certain people who are uh, worryingly ambitious and some people who seem to be collecting uh, enough... You know, I inventory for a cult worth of following. Yeah. I mean, so we could try and talk to her somehow. Yeah, absolutely. We're pretty good about sneaking in. Over. The Duchess? I mean? Yeah. I mean... I, I, I think first I'd like to check out um, Olga's room in that tower. Yeah. You know, we said a note that says, like, blink three times if you need help. <laughs> It could work. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, you know, you know. don't see her that often. Well, no, but... <laughs> yeah, the Duchess have, you know... We'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, I think... Professional staff for to do yeah. that. Mm. We don't go down to the town. I think we... If we're going to do multiple things while we're inside the castle, because, you know, it's kind of hard to get in. We gotta be less of a, I'm not, I'm not complaining. It was very exciting. But you all ended up running out there in like a terrible, <laughs> terrible mess of things last time. Perhaps we should try and keep a lower profile. Can you get yeah. a much lower profile than invisible? Yep. Ooh, now, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Because we want to do what in there? We want to, we want to talk to Augur. 
we want to. I'm not sure if we necessarily want to talk to him, but we definitely want to check out yeah. his uh, quarters yeah. and figure out what We want to try and get his notes, at least, if he's got the book, the other part of the book that we need. Yeah, somehow I reckon those notes went from Awina to Olga. Yeah. We, so we want to we want to talk to or figure out something with Augur. We want to talk to Gwendolyn alone, and maybe the Duchess too. That's three things. I'll tell you that we need to avoid Oina, avoid the guard. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, it'd be kind of nice to find out where this ritual is being done and where that energy is being stored. Yep. Yeah. Where do we know where the Chamberlains live? Where Awina and Gwen were they also in the tower? I've Somewhere in the there. castle. You are not Somewhere sure. In the castle. Okay, we don't know exactly where though. Yeah, it's we know there's like lights on in the tower and stuff. Yeah, that's, it seems like pretty much that's Augur. Seems like pretty much everything we want to do is in the castle. So it seems okay. like we're going to the castle and then doing a little bit of mm -hmm. castle walkabout. All right. Tra traditionally, amongst the upper castes, a role like the chamber in their quarters wouldn't be too far from the duchesses herself. Mm. Yeah. They'd probably they'd have the most prestigious of quarters. I mean, with a chamberlain, they'd probably get some of the more noble quarters rather than yeah. servants' quarters. That's true. If we think that Augur is, we, I mean, now with the whole icon thing and the lightning, we think Augur is doing the, the ritual. That seems pretty likely, right? Well, I think he definitely did the the energy collection, um, and yeah, he's most likely doing it for them, maybe. Yeah, it looks like it looks to me that Owena wants to take over, and part of her taking over. Because you know this whole bringing something back from the dead and the fact that this is, this can also be used to turn Sonya from a I, you know, her current state into a vampire. Maybe yeah. it can also upgrade Arena into, you know, Vampire Plus. Yeah. Or and allow her to take over. Her, her, her sister that her it would bring her back to life, maybe. Because that's Gwendolyn's thing, right? He maybe doesn't quite, not quite all into this. Who knows? Maybe that's yeah. something we can think about. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but everything here, to me, does seem to be pointing towards some sort of coup. Mm hmm. My question, the why I'm bringing that up is, where do we want to go first? Are we going to go straight for the tower? I think the tower is the first spot stop in the castle. Because I think as soon as we do that, Augur's going to put up, a, if he's doing this whole ritual thing, he's pretty pretty powerful. Well, ideally, I'd well, like to be able to right? go in there, grab a couple of the things that he needs for the ritual, and do something to them so he doesn't have access to them. Okay, but... so interrupt it. I'm just Yeah, it could work. My other thought was we go and try and get to Gwendolyn first, but we don't really know where they are unless we ask around. There may be some people around who might be able to ask someone who works at the castle. And we might I, not I, be able to get to Gwendolyn alone. I did figure out a potential way that I might be able to make it so it's easy to tell whether it's Gwendolyn or Arena. Yeah. From what you said, it was a very subtle thing. Yeah, I reckon if I use a little bit of magic, I could augment my senses so it turns every color except orange, black, and white. Whoa. Oh. That way, when I look at them, they'll either have black and white eyes or orange eyes. Okay. That's cool. It's not too shabby. That's neat. Or I, I just... could do it to somebody else, you know, what, yeah, whatever works, you know, whoever is in the best position to do it, we can try and do this. I am afraid that as soon as we start interrupting ritual stuff that Augur's going to notice and then 
alarms are going to be set and the Chamberlains are going to rush in and Gwendolyn's going to side with her sister. My yeah, concern is, we gotta get to we gotta get to her first. I, my concern is is that whichever one we go to first, there's bad cons that could result from not doing another one first. Well, I mean, we could always we could always split up. Yeah, some of us go I, steal steal his steal his shit. The other of us go, you know, go talk. Yeah. Have one group with the. Did we get? We got the. Did we get the necklace? Uh, no. 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 So otherwise, we could use the necklace to just shout it out. Hey! I'd say that would be a good plan, except for our past performance on sneaking around. What was that? It would be I'd say that's a good mind. idea. Our past performance on sneaking around. I'm pretty good at sneaking. Yeah, I don't know what you're trying to imply, Mister, but I'm very good at sneaking. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. I've sneaked so that... many times, and you haven't seen it because I'm that good at sneaking. Fair, fair, fair. I retract the statement. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm sure you're very good at sneaking too. I'm talking to Christopher. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well. What time is it right now? Is it? It was. I cannot remember where we are, like in the day or anything. A lot has happened. It's. It's. It, well, we haven't had a full day, so it's probably nighttime now. Since it was past yeah. dusk, yeah. When we went to the okay. store. Yeah. Well, I think we should plan to do it tomorrow night because <laughs> we're gonna want to be well rested. Right. We've had a long day. We need to plan. Yeah. All right. Well. So. How about this? We go home, we get a good night's sleep, meet up tomorrow morning, either at the library, in my workshop, or somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. I'll walk you home, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Our poor, sweet, sensitive boy. Needs, needs a guard. So sensitive. And, yeah. And, and also, I mean, Odd has that wicked-ass staff now, so. Oh, yeah. No, I'm very excited about this. It looks cool. I may need to borrow it if necessary. <laughs> it's a proper what? staff, yeah. It's 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 yeah. fine. But... I would say because staffs, uh, when you cast magic, increases the oh. range. Of three. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hit things with it too. All right, and yeah. Uh, yeah, and I'm thinking we are gonna stop there. It's one of the reasons I suggested the good night's sleep because it makes. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Uh, so we will continue with our planning in two weeks, right? Let's mm -hmm. uh, yeah. let's go around and say goodbye to everyone. Tell everyone where you can be found and all that's good stuff. Uh, let's go backwards from how we did it last time. So Nicholas, you're first. Yeah, uh, I'm Nicholas. I am found at Nivinta at Twitter. Uh, I'm here all week. Every week, but bi weekly in different games. <laughs> uh, and uh, my favorite bit was probably Odd uh, standing outside with Christopher and just talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And, and also that I got to introduce the factory phones. You monster. Mm. I was dying. I'm so glad I was muted. <laughs> Awesome. Adelaide? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, Adelaide on Twitter and everywhere else. Um, I'm super excited for, for, for our plans. Um, and my, my favorite moments are always odd. I, Mara <laughs> does this odd face, and I swear to God, I can't look at you without laughing. I can't. It's the funniest thing. I just, it's so odd, but it's also so, you <laughs> just, I can't. It's good. It's really good. I love it. You're about to be on another show. Where can people find you? Um, ah, yes, yes, I am about to be on. Well, okay, so uh, someone else is going first. We're doing our four different, five different character one shots essentially that are individual, and that is on Wandering DM's channel. Mm. 
So we got my character tonight and a character called Trends. And it's for Cyberpunk Red. Awesome. Fun. And Mara, you, you have a new show coming up too? Yes. Uh, I have I was talking to everyone about it before the game started. Um, but the next one I'm going to be on is Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, a Call of Cthulhu game where I play a very, um, very strange former cult leader uh, who is uh constantly making terrible terrible innuendos and it's great fun <laughs> and she's going to die <laughs> it's good perfect what was your favorite moment today and my favorite moment from today oh goodness um the uh i wrote it down where is it um <laughs> uh the whole the whole thing with christopher and the fawns yeah it was it was just beautiful, like getting freaked out and oh, oh yeah, this is happening now. Okay, I guess I'll teach you. Yeah, sure, I'll teach you. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Amazing. It's fun. And Mo. Hi, Mo at Mo Thulu in most places. Uh, you can normally find me over my Twitch play, uh, channel playing at the moment the bastard child of Minecraft and Subnautica. <laughs> All right. It's a mod pack where you're just completely underwater all the time. It's fun. Oh, cool. um, <clears throat> my favorite moment, let me think. To be honest with you, it was uh, the vampires and the dancing. Uh, yes. yes. That was going to be my other just, one. Just the way that it is. I mean, yeah, I love the forms and stuff and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I just, they are so much Gomez and Morticia from the Adams family. And they are, and that in for me, when it comes to fiction in the media, is the most devoted, loving, and functional couple that has ever been created. So. It's true. It's true. Uh, we, we, we stand one vampire couple here. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, at first I was thinking of the dancing for my favorite moment. Like, literally, that they were like, I'm sorry, you have to excuse us. We feel like dancing. <laughs> like, we have to we have to do she this now. <laughs> the dance that calls to us. We have to go. This is between that and then the fawns, obviously, which I had to mute myself for, because I was, like, literally I was over here, like, dying. I had to I put my little, like, fawn hat on and everything. I was like, oh, I love them so much. Just, just that, Nicholas, you have them, like, they're, like, trying to structure like a little like work rebellion like they're trying to plan plan a strike <laughs> for better workers rights and i'm just like yeah but also them attaching themselves to christopher and ending up on the roof and being like that was fun let's do it again which is so which to me is such a fun such a fun thing to be just like it's fun let's do it let's do whatever weird silly fun things because that's what fake creatures i feel like do um but yeah, my name is Jess. This is my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Find all these cool people. If you're in the Twitch right now, you can find all their links in chat. If you're watching over on YouTube, the links will be down below. So go find them and all the cool stuff they do. Come hang out in the channel, watch and hang out with us live and uh, be part of the snarky comments we're making in chat as we're playing uh, and all that good stuff. I uh, hope you have a good, good night. There's no streams the rest of the week, but I'll see you next week. Um, have a good week and we'll see you around later. Bye.